Shalom family. So I want to touch quickly on the word Torah. Now Torah for the Jews is the first five books of Moses. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. Now this for them, when you say the word of God, they think Torah immediately. First five books. They refer to the Tanakh that they use, which is the shortened letters of Torah, Navim, and Ketuvim. The Torah, the prophets, and the writings. The prophets and the writings is the rest of what we know as the Old Testament. But the most authority they place into the first five books of the Bible, the Torah. Now, the Torah points to God, and the Torah points to Jesus. And if you go into Bible codes and you use the equidistant skip sequence, letter skip sequence, and you go through that, you see the messages in the first five books all pointing towards Yahweh. Behold the hand, behold the nail. It's amazing. We can do that again in a separate video if you didn't know about that. But in this one, I really want to just show you how special and how blatant the message from God to them is. And yet, with hardened hearts of stone and eyes that are covered with scales, they still do not see this. So, Torah is made up of Taf, Vaf, Resh, and Hay. Now, in the ancient year, you can already see this message coming together. Taf, a sign of the covenant and the cross of Jesus Christ, is what that is. The vaf is a nail. Behold the hand, behold the nail. There's your nail. And then the resh is a person, but the highest person. Revered highest person. And then, hey, behold, behold. So if you read it now from left to right, behold, the highest one nailed to the cross. The message of salvation of Yahweh for all mankind through the sacrifice on the cross and the resurrection of his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, their Messiah, right there all along in front of their faces in Torah. The absolute message again, behold the highest one nailed to the cross. Our God is amazing. God bless. Have an amazing day. Shalom.